Hello everyone, this is Waldorf. And this is Stetler. And today we have Battle Report 62. 062. Ogrecon, Vampire's Covenant vs. Ogrecon, Game 3 of Brawler Bash. Brawler's Bash. <laughs> There's the Ogrecons. Our dreaded, my dreaded opponent. <laughs> um, quick, uh, there we go, there's my army list. Uh, pause it, take a look if you'd like. And the opponent, Ogrecons. He has a great con general with a Coggins Maul, which is that D3 weapon. Right. The Mammoth Hide Cloak. It's the one he can only be wounded at strength five. Yep. All attacks count strength five. The Talisman of Shielding, which is only a six up save, ward save. Mm -hmm. And the Hellfist. He has two Mammoth Hunters, one with the Dragonfire Gem and the Hunting Spear, the other with the Dragon. Um, Scale Helm and the Hunting Spear. So both have the uh, Fireborn right. thing going. Two units of eight tribesmen, full command with Iron Fist. Seven uh, mercenary vets. He gave them Brace of Pistols, Bodyguard, Poison, and the Dragon Hide Banner. Mm -hmm. Three Tusker Cav with full command. A Frost Mammoth, a Rock a Rock. Two units of two Yetis and two Little Tigers. I like the... Uh... Fireborn on the, on the characters, on the hunters. Around. Yeah, it's because they're going to be shooting characters, so it stops people from fireballing you. Right. They're cheap items. Yep, cheap items. Keeps guys the guys not too expensive. Yeah. Right. So, um, turn one. This was a deployment with the um, counter thrust. I think it's called, where you de where you have to deploy one at a time. You have to deploy, you trade off units. Right, and you have to keep them... Um, correct, and you have to keep 18 inches apart. 18 inches apart, yeah. So, um, anyway, so this is kind of what it ended up with. So you have a crater. We have a crater, which we called a ruin. Okay. Um, we have a forest. <laughs> it's a place for the guys to go hide. Forest. <laughs> a hill. A hill, a lake. A water feature, and... Tower and a build. So two yeah, there's another basic. wall back here. It's like two walls and two buildings. Okay. Um, and a big and tan room. felt mat. Okay. And a tan felt mat. And this is these are the felt mats. I don't like felt mats oh, because I if you felt. flock any of your basing, they stick to it. Or oh well, yeah, if you put any ballast or anything. If you yeah. put any ballast on it, they kind of dig in and stick to it, and yeah, it makes no. moving units hard. No, it's that's my big objection. To worst it. worst gaming surface you can have, yeah. short of not having one. Short of not having one. <laughs> yeah. You don't you know, like playing on bare tables with coke no. cans or buildings? Yeah, not so much. Okay. I'll bring one of those reports to you next time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see he's deployed his two hunters over here in the ruin. Um, there's a little tiger, mm -hmm. unit of eight. Um, eight of the, uh, whatever, bruisers. Those are the great weapon guys, I think. No. No, the, um, the bruisers? The uh, great weapon guys, sorry. Eight bruisers, another eight bruisers. The two big beasties, mm -hmm. mercenaries, eight more. They have three units of eight bruisers. Must have three units of eight bruisers. I don't remember the list. Okay. Yeah, three units of eight bruisers. I, I can't be expected to remember things that only that I, I, I only read a minute ago. You, exactly. <laughs> and Tuskers and another little puppy, another two Yetis. And these are mm -hmm. two Yetis he's placing out here in the Okay. In the what woods. is them going in the woods? They go in the snow. <laughs> no, there's no snow here. Mm -hmm. So, turn one. I got turn one. So, I declare... <laughs> I decided to declare I didn't like the two hunters. They both have hunting spears. I declared a charge on one. He fled, mm -hmm. ran back here, bumped into his dog, and decided to take it with him. Mm -hmm. I don't mind one hunting spear shooting at me, but I don't want two. Mm. I think that, that's a bad thing. You weren't confident you could yell him off? I mm. didn't want to take the chance on <laughs> fluffing it and yeah, having no, them both. I, I'm just kidding. But yeah. Walk around to my flank and yes. just pepper me yes. for the entire game. That would have been annoying. <laughs> um, other than that, you can see it just moved up a bit. Um, I've deployed this guy out here way out of the general's command. The Shrieking Horror. Mm -hmm. But I'm kind of okay with it because this, is what, I, these is, this right. is what I want to deal with with them. Mm -hmm. So, And I'm just hoping right now... I think the Yetis are sevens, aren't they? The movement seven? Yeah. Yes. Or I'm just waiting for them to come forward because I want the vampire spawn to jump on them. Mm-hmm. Um, probably swap units, but we'll see. Yeah. We can probably yell them off, too. I can, if they come forward without yeah. the Tuskers being around. Yeah. So, that's what it looked like. So, 
top of his turn, he decides he's going to charge both my units of dogs. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Again, it's perfect. I'm perfectly good with that because mm -hmm. he'll probably win the fight on the right. And if he either if he doesn't overrun, I'll charge him with a vampire spawn. If he does overrun, I'll just back up and yell at him with the big guy. Yeah, I mean, it gets him though around your flank, so you have to pay attention to right. him. So it's not a bad move. Um, so checking some ranges over here. Yeah, charge the spirit host. Um, the guys came out of the woods and charged into my spirit host. Phantom host. Mm -hmm. uh, it makes both of these charges. Mm -hmm. Neither one with there. <laughs> Wins both fights. And the dog, the tiger, did two wounds to me and a charge. So won the combat. I did nothing to him, so he wins the combat by three and crumbles me off. <laughs> there you go. So I was like, what the hell? <laughs> anyway. Um, so you got that going for him. Uh, over here, the Yetis. You can see on the far left, the guy with the hunting spear has marched out of this crater and come down to here, and he pegged me for a wound. Yeah, you got to watch these spirit hosts plopping in front of your units. Yeah, um, I got giving them speed bumps and tying myself up. Tying yourself up is the big thing. Yeah. So <clears throat> you can see there, he's put a couple. He's wiped out a base and put a couple on the other. Mm -hmm. uh, is I declared a charge with the ghouls into his, was it the ghouls into his dog? Mm -hmm. I think it was the ghouls into his dog and he fled. I just wanted to get the ghouls forward. Right. Um, over here, I backed up my... Uh, oh, Hunter came forward, didn't see that. Yeah, so I was saying he came mm -hmm. forward and shot me in the flank. Mm -hmm. So I just backed up a bit to keep him, in, you know, getting back in my front arc. Mm-hmm. Plan on yelling him off. That's what I'm hoping anyway. Um, dice are out. I what I typically do in a game, uh, if I raise zombies, if I run the evocation, right, I'll put the dice down until it's my right. opponent's turn, and then I'll put the models right. out. Doesn't slow the game down that way. So it kind of keeps the game moving a bit. Helpful tip. Helpful tip to undead um, players. So mm -hmm. I've grown back my phantom host as well. Mm -hmm. A couple wounds there. have it and charge the end up charging the spectral hunters into these instead yeah i saw that and decided that instead of these for mm -hmm. some reason i'm not sure what that well, reasoning was you like to have those charged in somebody's flank yeah um i think i was saving these for this guy mm -hmm. which i really didn't need to bother with since this guy fled and he's kind of chaffing him up himself yeah i looked he cannot wheel past it's like dead in front of him and, you know, they're like six inches wide and it's like right. five and a quarter mm -hmm. to the corner of each way he goes. Um, anyway, that's one thing. It's a kind of a pet peeve of mine is wheeling. People will say, oh, I can wheel past that and just oh, move yeah. it through it. Before like, before you can check like, it. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Yeah. And you just, the easy easiest way is measure from yeah, here to here. The distance and find how far that is and then and check from here to here. Exactly. Because it's... A, we should do a video on wheeling. Yeah, that's because probably a good one. Wheeling is a terrible because no one else seems to know how to wheel. I'd... People will pick up a unit and kind of wheel it. Yes, this side will go back that's as this back. side yep. comes yep. forward, or both sides will come forward. You know, anyway. Yeah, I just all kinds. Usually, of it's things. pivots, and it's usually yeah. a pivot, not a wheel. That's that's the thing. And and I I myself am guilty of it at sometimes, mm -hmm. but anyway. So anyway, the uh, spectral hunters over here wiped out the yetis. Okay. Which is even better because now I have two units over here on his flank. Right. And his Yetis wiped out your... Uh... His Yetis, of course. Wow. Punished my Spirit Host. I mean, these guys got 10, I think they're five attacks each. Is that many? I don't remember. Is it five or four each? Um, and you can see up here on the top exactly what I was afraid of happened if I would have gone forward. I yelled at him and only did three. Yeah. <laughs> they are leadership nine. Yeah. So I do need threes to wound. And I did only have five um, screen, you know, five hits right. because I have a wound on me. So I'm, it's it's not it's not like I sh felt I should have done it. Right. Um, so moving on. But there's his yetis. Oh, and then with the last die in the turn, I created a unit of zombies out here. Okay. 
they were out of the arc of this um, the man eater unit the, sorry the mm -hmm. uh, mercenary unit so in his turn he hmm. charges his bulls into here okay and surprisingly I expected the yetis into my zombies yeah and just because right now I've got no one I can bring to help them right I just expected those to come in there and just start mm -hmm. slaughtering zombies but he elected not to um, over here he brought his other hunter back up mammoth hunter back up this guy moved over marched over to my side so he's out of my arc and can they can both throw spears at me he's also brought the mercenaries up to within 24 so they can shoot me with their poison shots mm. and you know how I feel about poison after last game <laughs> yes <laughs> um, elsewhere the, the dog I think the dog rallied the tiger, I believe, rallied over oh, there on the right. facing the wrong way at the moment, but... Yeah, just wondering if he did mm -hmm. or not. We'll see soon enough. Um, so... Oh, there we go. Charge there. Bulls. Uh, what else we got? Ah, so he, yeah. He, he did rally, because now he's facing your guys on the side flank. He did rally, and by the simple fact of turning him to the side gave him enough room to wheel past him. Yeah. Right. Um, so he turned that guy to face to the side. And he brought the other guys out to protect the, the flank of the other ones. Bulls up. Mm -hmm. uh, so there we go. And we go on to the top of turn three. So that's what we're looking like on the left hand side. Oh, um, he, he wanted to chaff up your uh, gas. What's this? He wanted to chaff up your gas. He used yes, to chaff up your gas. Yes, he left him to stay there to chaff up the gas. Mm -hmm. um, so. I'm like, okay, well, there's what it looks like. I'll take that bait. The zombies came in, charged, sorry, the ghouls charged in here. Right. The um, Shrieking Horror moved up, yelled at the Tuskers. And got rid of and one did, and put did some wounds did five wounds on the unit. Okay. Which is significant. Very good. Till they charge you next turn. Um, what's that? <laughs> Till he charges me? Yeah. Um, well, I'm hoping these ghouls will do well uh looks like you uh, charged his dog and he ran away i charged his dog with from the, the left hunters. and he ran away with the spectral hunters mm -hmm. um over here the gas have charged into his have taken the bait and charged into his uh yetis mm -hmm. figured i'd get rid of them and i brought my bats forward to redirect this unit of bulls mm -hmm. they're in his uh, he's in my flank i mean in my front in your front yes so he has to wheel to the side and mm -hmm. hit me uh, I've got the Beast Within going on, so I've got plus one strength. Um, strength four is kind of borderline with these guys. If you can get them, if you can get this Beast Within off on a six, you know, yeah. that's really nice. Strength five, tough five for this unit, if you, yeah, can, yeah. if you can manage it. Yeah, this is another case where the ghouls, ghouls went in, but they could not wheel enough to maximize. Right. A lot of people will just push them in and maximize. Yes. Uh, um... So I'm getting a little nervous here with my uh, with my zombies. So I pushed both units of skeletons forward. His combined spears have managed to put to put a total of spears and poison. It brought me up to I think five did, wounds. Did you yell off the other guy? I yelled off the other guy. Okay. I moved back to get within twelve of this. Right. And still managed to yell him off. Mm -hmm. So, but I've got I think it's either four or five wounds on me at this point. Yeah. Um, so I'm not thrilled with that. The gas crushed this unit. We formed a little bit narrower. Mm -hmm. And as you can see up top, there you go. The ghouls did some good work against the uh, ogres. But didn't catch them. Crushed them. Um, could not catch them, but did manage to overrun into the mm -hmm. tuskers, which is awesome. Pretty good with me. I think I've got re-rolled to hits on the ghouls. Mm. It's either to hit or to wound. That's right. what's running on the ghouls. So there you have it. That's looking like that. Going into the bottom of the turn. So, nice picture. It's a well-painted army for Fizz. Mm -hmm. So when, were you worried about these bulls? Which bulls? the previous picture the one in the center the ones you chaffed up these yeah not really I just wondering why you chaffed them up or if you were worried about them hitting your 
I chaffed him up because I want him to hit. I want him to come forward and hit me. Right. And then I just make sure I get into him and cry, wipe him out. Because mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure I can wipe him out in a turn. Yeah. In one combat. Yeah. yeah. So, anyway, that's it. I wasn't not that I was really that worried mm-hmm. about him, but I would rather hit them than have them hit me because it yeah. doesn't give them the, the they don't impact get the impact hits. hits and anyway. And I'm still fairly safe over there. And if he declines, my other thought is if he declines not to charge him and take the chaff off, if he declines to, if he decides to wait a turn, right, then the I can sacrifice the bats and send them into something over to the left, right, I mean, over to the right, and then charge these guys past them into the mercenaries. Yeah, yeah, is kind of what I was looking at. Mm-hmm. So there we have it. So he declares a long charge with the mercenaries. It's actually, um, I think he needed a 14. He needed to roll an eight mm-hmm. into the unit of uh, That's skeletons. That's not that long of a charge. No, it's not terrible. Um, then charges this unit and the rock rock mm-hmm. into this one. And the only one that makes it is the bulls into the okay. skeletons. Um, but you can see his other hunter is still pursuing yep. me with his guy. I do have four wounds on me. So it's not comfortable. <laughs> not, not happy. Yeah. Um, he did take the took off the chaff. He charged in the chaff. Mm-hmm. He brought his plus uh, minus initiative guy over. His right. frost mammoth over to, to help out with both these fights. Right. Which is... Good positioning for him because mm-hmm. now he can help both. Um, so, of course, the ogres clear my chaff, reform. Bulls in the center mm-hmm. have cleared off my chaff and reformed. And the skeletons are smaller. Skeletons are smaller, but they're holding. And they didn't get rid of And he did no not wounds take at off all? my. Well, he didn't. Yeah, he actually did another one. This guy missed with his hunting spear. No, no, no. I mean, the skeletons didn't cause any wounds on his bulls. No, not at all. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, strength three against hitting that on four, hitting on fours, wounding on fours. Yeah. And he's got a five up save. Yeah, it's kind yeah. of tough to get some through with eleven attacks. Um, elsewhere, these guys failed their charge; they can't mm. shoot, which is I think keeping this guy alive. Yep. <laughs> I just need some magic help. <laughs> I need to get. I need an evocation. So um, the ghouls don't do nearly so well against this guy. Yeah. <laughs> This is after the crumble. I mean, mm-hmm. he just crushed me. You see, I didn't get a single wound through. Yeah, um, those things are really good against infantry. Yeah. And, and you're already fantastic. weakened. And, and I was tough four. And you're minus one. To hit. He's minus one to hit. Yeah. So. I'm T4, so I thought, uh, you know. Yeah, he's strength five. And he's going first. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway. So, uh, moving on. Uh, the the Strigoi vampire on the Shrieking Horror makes his march test and flies over here. Mm-hmm. the other side to get away from the hunting spear and yep. stay within range uh, elsewhere the guys just kind of reposition themselves charged into the unit of the bulls in the center and what's that is that a flank or is that a front Where? spearmen to those bulls the spearmen to these yeah or these no those there these that's yeah. front oh if he charges me yeah it's like a flank uh, maybe yeah Actually, I think it is. It's a bad move. <laughs> anyway, um, brought the Shrieking Horror up. Mm-hmm. Um, he's within now within eight of this guy, mm-hmm. of the Frost Mammoth. And I yell him and do five out of the six. I must have paid that much. Yeah, it's really close. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, the bulls, you can see back here, have rallied. Yeah. I forgot to mention that. Um, so moving on, I did manage to get evocation off. See, both units have grown back a bit. Yep. Um, and there's only two wounds on me now. Mm-hmm. So feeling a lot more comfortable now in case this guy... What I'm, what I'm worried about is this guy just taking a turn and just shooting him. Yeah. Uh, poison ter- <laughs> For some reason, poison terrifies me now. <laughs> Not real sure why. I think they have a better target to charge. <laughs> the- they do, but yeah, <laughs> it's still just terrifying me. Yeah. Um. The Tuskers uh, clear off the ghouls. How did this happen? Cleared off the ghouls. He looks like you lost. Cleared off the ghouls, and then I charged him. You charged him before. Oh, I charged him. I charged into his flank. That's what it yeah. was. Yeah, so, and you only did two wounds. I charged in the flank, and I did one wound, I think. 
Did they have four wounds to each, or did they have three? Three wounds each. Oh, okay, so you only did one wound. So okay. I only did one wound to him. Um, anyway, had a charge flank and a wound. You must have. Wound. You must have won because you wouldn't didn't crumble off any of these guys. And I didn't crumble off any yeah. of these guys. Um, meanwhile, over here, coming into the bulls, and again, I can't maximize because mm -hmm. the wheel is too. They're too close. Right. Um, and because of that, don't manage killing them. So only did looks like seven wounds to his unit. Seven, five. Uh, two guys and a wound. Oh, two guys and a wound. Yeah, seven. Right. And that's with your uh, general fighting. That's with the general fighting. I mean, he's got five attacks rerollable. He's yeah. strength six. It's, I mean, anyway. And your guys were strength five or strength four. My guys were only strength four okay. in this combat. So which, 50, 50. That's hard. 50, 50 to hit. 50, 50, 50, 50 wound. 50, 50 wound and it's a lot of attacks though. Yeah, it is. Um, but as you can see, he didn't do a ton back to me either. Mm -hmm. um, over here, the skeleton unit's about gone now. Yep. Um, he's, he's grabbing it. He's grabbing it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, moving on to turn five. This is a this is a family friendly channel. There's no grabbing involved. Uh, turn five, I have blown. Th I beat his uh, bulls and overran to chase him, mm -hmm. and, and pursued caught him? out. Caught him out here, and you got. Looks like you're still just barely in line of sight of his. His guys are just out of my arc. He cannot see me. He cannot. Okay. He it's cannot like see it's, me. It's like he's clipping the back base. From no, we we check. It's just out the camera. So yeah, you so you lucked out there. The bulls over on the left, however, yeah, can see me. Um, and because of the way he reformed after he killed my skeletons, he's put my spearmen into his my. Sp He's in the front of my spearman now, okay. not in, still in the flank. So the rock rock came off to the right, I mean to the left. He charged his hunter in alone mm -hmm. to my spearman. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't um, just position himself so he could charge you. My, oh, it was his turn he did that. Yeah, the, um, over here on the right, my mm -hmm. two spectral hunters, three spectral hunters, killed his rock rock but I'm not the rock rock but the tusker, but right. he did put another wound on me. Where's your uh, uh, little vampire spawn guys? They are over there. Just hanging the right, out? Just off to the right. Yeah, I haven't seen waiting them Waiting for an opportunity. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so he charged in the unit of bulls into the spectral hunters. Mm -hmm. um, oh, wow. That skipped ahead. I missed a picture on turn, bottom of turn five. Um, so you can see over here, he's, he charged his bulls into the spectral hunters. Right. He actually did almost nothing to, I think nothing to him with my mm -hmm. ward saves. Mm -hmm. So you can see the um, Shrieking Horrors right here. Right. It charged into their flank. On your turn. And the um, Vampire Spawns hit them over here on the top. Okay. So between all three of them on my turn, they crushed them and then pursued out to here. Okay. To get back into the center of the game. The also on the other top, top on my turn, the... Um, Gas. Call it, gas declared a charge on his frost mammoth right the frost mammoth fled because he had one wound left he was going to die and he was right. hoping to drag me off so he fled i went i charged it you know i followed through on the charge caught it here did the reform and, from catching it and right. then used the pounding drum beats spell to get back towards mm -hmm. the center of the board right um so my objective in this one is i need to bring this unit below half yeah. So I cannot avoid this unit forever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, moving on, bottom of turn five, I believe. Oh, and then also another grow more guys. evocation grow, goes off and grow more guys. Mm -hmm. Gets a couple wounds back here. So we go up to the top of turn six. Um, he's deciding what he's going to do. And he's deciding what he's going to do. All of a sudden he's surrounded. <laughs> <laughs> he's looking around. He's got another clue. Kill the monster. Um, Kill the monster. So he decides to go in and oh. try to butcher my mage. Oh, he went there not against the monster. Interesting. He went there and, of course, triple, you know, brings these two yeah, other yeah. units into here. Yeah, that makes sense. I would have thought he would charge your character on the... This guy? The, yeah. Well, the problem with that is I challenge him. Yeah. Well, that's, that's true. That's true. I'm, I'm probably not going to kill him, though. He could probably kill me. All he's trying to do is kill you and crumple you if he can. Yeah, he could probably kill me. Yeah. Even in a challenge. Because he's got his big... Where's his character? Right there in the corner. I was in the unit. Yeah, yeah. He, with that multi-weapon thing, yeah. Yeah. Then he's out of the, all his rear side Correct. stuff if he's over there. Yeah, so. but he went for here. Yeah, interesting. Um, okay. 
And <laughs> so these guys wow. came into the flank. It's very okay. So this, of course, butchers this and just destroys it to him and crumbles it completely off. He pops it with the Rocker Rocks 3D6 strength, whatever, charge mm -hmm. impacts, more impacts here, stomps, everything else. Right. This, this huge unit just gets crumbled. And even your Steadfast didn't help you. No, this, all the Steadfast doesn't cap at 12. 12 yeah. and he, you know, I was had less than 12. <laughs> it was just bad. I mean, they just destroyed me. Yeah, um, that's a lot. Then yeah, he had almost 50 guys. Then he overran into the into the zombies. Ah, uh, okay. And smash them. Yeah. And pursued out to here. Mm -hmm. um, my turn, and then this, and then the final turn. These guys turn around um, to there. Right. Now I'm not sure. This is the one thing I don't recall. See, there's eight of these guys. Mm -hmm. They turn around where they are. So looking at this, this is kind of where we were going into my right. turn, except these guys were facing out. Mm -hmm. This rock rock was all the way back here somewhere. So my final turn, I need to get this below half. Yeah. I don't want to charge it because I don't want him challenging off my general. Because mm -hmm. um, I think he can kill my general. So both the terror guys comes up, both the shrieking horrors come up. Mm -hmm. um, I think he had, no, maybe I did have a champion. Anyway, the shrieking, uh, the spectral hunters came up, bounced on them, bounced back, came back, you know, did their two pass right. through hits. These two guys yelled them and yelled them down to one guy and one wound. Mm. He's got four wounds on his mercenaries and his general in there. Mm -hmm. um, so they are below half. I've got my thousand point objective. Right. Unfortunately, I didn't bring the unit below a quarter for another big chunk of points. Mm -hmm. Then this unit the big unit of gas charged into these, the bulls. Mm -hmm. Right. And from looking at this, I cannot figure out how I killed two of four of them without breaking them, auto breaking them. I was looking at this you picture. Kill four, did you kill three? Well, I mean, I'm looking, I don't think. I see three there. There's right now there's eight. Okay. And now well, there's four. Well, your skeletons may have killed, done something wrong. They could have killed one. So even if we say the skeletons... Because I only, I only see three casualties Oh, three casualties. Maybe, okay, maybe skeletons killed one. And, so I see three but up there. But that still does and, nine. And it looks like you lost one. And I lost. I had four in the back there and three in the back there. Yeah. So nine to three. Mm -hmm. um, he's got a banner to my yes. charge. I've got a rank and six wounds on him, so he's down by seven. So I guess he could have rolled snake eyes and stood. Yeah. Maybe that's what happened. He does have a BSB, so he had two shots at it. Maybe that's what happened. I, I just because that's the only thing I can figure out how this yeah yeah is still here. Um, anyway, one way or another, this is how it ended. He right. has this is what he has left, and of course this is mine. You can see the vampire spawn are still mm -hmm. alive and well dancing out there. So you didn't have a champion with your gas? I do have a champion in my gas. So why were we about the challenge? Um, I thought I could do better screaming him off than fighting him because uh, he's going to go faster than me. Yeah. He's, he's going to go before me and there's a ton of him. With the guys in the front. I mean, he's turned to face. Four of the, four of the guys would have fought you, right? Um, four of the guys plus two more. Well, I thought he was facing, oh, he's facing No, him? he crushed this unit and turned to face. Okay. It looked like he was facing back still this way. Okay. He shouldn't have been, but because he crushed them. Right. And turn, yeah, they're facing this way. Oh, okay. Because okay. you can see. Um, he was here and he had two more guys there. Yeah, yeah. So, again, I didn't want to... That's that's had a lot of attacks. And this guy with the Great Maul. Mm -hmm. if I, even if I don't... <laughs> the problem is, even if I don't challenge him, this guy's doing D3 wounds for every hit into my unit. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying it was yeah. great. I don't think I can kill him. No, you'd have to kill the unit and try to... Right. Hope you win the combat with them and the two monsters yelling. So I was hoping between these three fully, you know, these yeah. two are full strength and this guy's come to right. pop a wound in him. I was hoping between all this we could yell him down to yeah. uh, half the points, which I did. Mm -hmm. Would have liked to have done a couple more. One, sure. Actually, one more wound and I would have got a bunch more points. Yeah. Um, but again, like I said, right as it is, he's got a, a unit of bulls, a uh, rock a rock hunter, and this unit. Right. Still significant. Yeah. Um, so... 
I got twenty nine ninety. Mm-hmm. Sorry, twenty nine fifty. Thousand points for the cards. I was re- I remained unbroken because the general counts as two. Right. So ended up with forty one fifty. So kind of an average win. He did not score that many. He got thirty two hundred or something. Mm. Okay. So, um, so like I said, kind of an average, slightly, you know, whatever, slightly above average win, four thousand. Right. Better than I did the second game. <laughs> Still yes. nowhere near the first game. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I got. Uh, thank you for listening. Till next time. <laughs>